It's from the heart. That's all you want. And you just want people to enjoy themselves and have a wonderful evening and realize that it's an amazing charity and all the money is going directly back to the Ottawa Cancer Foundation. So how can you go wrong? I hope that they're inspired to do something like this. They don't have to do a box match, but I hope they're inspired to do a 5K or do a 10K, run a marathon or just do a small part to say, well, if Lisa or Daphne or Derek or Michael can do that, I can do something as well. The Auto Regional Cancer Foundation, I think they really change lives there. Chances are everyone in our community might need their services. This is something that's going to touch us all eventually at some point, so why not be passionate about it? If you're going to do it and you're going to change lives, try to change as many as you can or try to make it as big as possible. We want to do as much as we can for our local community. We founded Fight for the Cure in 2008. It was almost a tribute to my grandfather who was battling prostate cancer at the time. He was using the services at the Auto Regional Cancer Foundation. So we thought, why not bring our passion of boxing into a philanthropic effort? It's Ottawa's only white collar charity boxing event. There's a full four course meal, silent auction, the whole nine yards. We have like this real big boxing atmosphere. We take business leaders, media personalities, future prime ministers, lawyers, doctors, we've had it all. And they train for eight months. And then on fight night, they compete in a live amateur boxing match in front of their peers. For me, it was to help an entire community and, and come out and get involved. And when kids have cancer, that, that hits us. So I think it was more for the community as a whole. Just seeing the stories that the red team and the blue team, this, the reasons they're doing it. I mean, Wayne, like his wife is still fighting. It's the least I could do to hop in the ring and take a few punches for it. She was uh, diagnosed in 2016 with uh, breast cancer. She's, she's proud of me. So she's not too happy about the, uh, not as pretty as I used to be. Um, so my dad died of cancer um, nine years ago. He basically starved to death. He uh, had esophagus cancer, then his stomach gave out. When he passed away, he was probably a buck 15 soaking wet. I could just pick him up with my arms. Cancer is an awful, awful disease, and it has to be stopped. I think there's a bit of a maxim out there that if you work hard, you'll get good results. And that's not really the truth, because my opponent worked as hard as I did, if not harder. Really what you get when you're working hard is you get to see your true self. And that self-reflection is a part of the journey. I learned that boxing is way harder than you think it is. I learned I could push myself and kind of put myself out there for good reasons to help fundraise, to help other people. I don't mind getting punched in the face. When I first started, one of the first things that Scotty said to me, he said, Scott, there's a good thing and a bad thing about you. The good thing is you don't mind being hit. The bad thing is you don't mind being hit. Once I really commit to something that I'm in it full on, I think I've always been like that, but this is really proven it to me more. One of the things I've kind of adopted is learning how to triage time. You only have 24 hours in a day. You have to figure out what's most important. You need to sleep, you need to eat, you need to take care of your kids, you need to work. So that leaves you probably about three or four hours a day left, right? So then you gotta figure out how to use that. You're gonna sit on the couch and eat bonbons. You're gonna go out and work out, meet people, have fun. I choose to work out and meet people. I could take a punch really well. <laughs> no, I think it was just resilience and not shying away from challenging yourself. And although I have a background as a professional athlete to compete in something that you're not necessarily experienced in and learning a whole new skill set is very different. I had a game plan, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And then, uh, you know, the famous Mike Tyson quote, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. It's exactly what happened. And I sat in between uh, the first and second round and my, my corner was, what are you doing? This is not what we talked about. Uh, so again, that moment to, all right, let's, let's, let's gather ourselves and let's go back out now and, and let's fix it. Win, lose, or draw, that moment of self-reflection, when you're pushed to something that's challenging, I think it's something that's gonna stay with me. Last year where I was at this event, I weighed 219 pounds. I wanted to do it, and I just thought that I would have to fight at 219 pounds. I didn't think that I had it in me to lose weight, get in shape, and, and prepare. The determination that I've put into this is just something that I've really learned about myself that I didn't think was possible. I don't know if I'll be in the ring ever again. I don't know if anybody will want me in the ring, but I definitely will uh, continue practicing and training. When you actually go through it and, and try to be a boxer, I think you learn a greater appreciation for it. It's, it's a humbling but rewarding experience. My son, he wants to start. He's 17 and he's like, yeah, I want to do this too. I think I'll probably continue and uh, 
It'll be fun to get my son into it and watch him. I think I'd like to be 1-0 and and leave it at that. I'd like to come out and help you support next year's crew, but I think my boxing gloves are going to be hung up and my robe is going to be beside it. Definitely, I've already talked about it, so we're like, okay, Scott, you've had your first females do this, so now we're going to help you through the rest of the process. When we first started doing Fight for the Cure, we raised $500 our first year, and the big turning point for us is when Heart and Crown bought a table one year, and then afterwards they said that they wanted to be our headline sponsor. I'm just very appreciative of them. We're happy to have them with us until the very end.